Monique, kind of upset this week. Um, apparently, she had a show out in Detroit on Saturday and felt like she should be the hairliner. Um, she claims that she had a contract um, that said that she's supposed to be the hairliner. However, also on the show was B.L. Hewley. And D.L. was like, no, I'm the headliner. And then um, D.L. Hewley ended up headlining the show. And then Monique spent a good 10 minutes out of her 45 minutes set berating and insulting D.L. Hewley. And hey, hey, wait, real quick, real quick. If our producer is still there. If she could, she could bring up some of that, some of that, some of that beautiful Bean footage. We could play a couple of, couple of the, uh, the, the greater hits from it, right quick. Because it was definitely some shits. I don't know if she did or not. Oh, she definitely, um, she definitely oh, touched on some. She definitely touched on. She definitely hit some nerves. She. Oh. Uh, you think she yeah, hit some uh, nerves? Oh yes, yeah. Well, I mean, she got on some aimed, nerves, maybe, but like, she aimed, when you say when you say hit a nerve, that means like you you spoke some truth to some shit and it made some people uncomfortable. No, 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 no. She ain't oh. speaking the truth, but oh. she was definitely aiming to get at a motherfucker, and she she didn't hold her, no punches. She um came at that nigga head, and again, I think she all the way the fuck out of order. But folks is keeping it because she's from the set. Um, I think that Monique was just out there wilding, and D.L. Hewley, um, I guess, I don't know if he maintained his professionalism and didn't ad um, address that shit when he got on stage, but um, he did address it later on. But this is um, Monique. Um, let's see. If you could start at like five minutes and 25 seconds. This is when she really gets into her D.L. Hughley spiel. I don't fuck with nobody, so I don't fuck with no motherfucking body. But when you cross the line with me, nigga, you have crossed the motherfucking line. And that bitch, nigga, has crossed the motherfucking line. See, we got a history, nigga. We got a history. That nigga went on a tour talking about all Monique wasn't. You can Google it right now. Yeah, you really want to make all I wasn't, what I wasn't worth, all of this bullshit. And nigga, you put your feet under my motherfucking table. So you came to my home, nigga. And you put hey, your hey, feet hey, under hey, my pause, motherfucking hey, table. Hey, 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 pa pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. Okay, I don't, I don't know the tour she's talking about. And with, did you hear any? It is D.L. Hughley talking about Monique stuff that she's referencing right now that we can Google that we didn't Google. No. Okay, no, I didn't no. hear. It. I didn't hear it either. And that's not to say it don't exist. He might have had an opinion or two about the dumbass shit that you've done over the over the fucking years. But mm -hmm. hey, look, a lot of people did. There's some dumbass right. shit. He's not the only one. He's not the only one. But now this was. I haven't. Has anybody said anything about you in the in the in 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 the in the, in the past two years? Because it's been kind of quiet for you for about a year, maybe two. Most I don't recall anybody and, saying anything. And most of the motherfuckers that go at her that, that she's been in these um, situations with are usually responding to shit that she does. That part. That part. To them or to somebody else or whatever, but they were just responding to shit that you've done. Mm -hmm. Now, now to try to get to try to put this under the guise of that, that, that this man owed you something because he put his feet up under your table when 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 damn near I, what, what did you say about ten down there twenty years ago? Because mm -hmm. I think it was a it was a it was a fight that happened definitely years ago that he said he went to at her house. Yeah, damn near yeah. Tyson or Roy Jones, some shit. Yeah. Um, um, he said it was uh, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, Tyson Holyfield. I don't know which time they fought, but either way, we talk about none of these within the past twenty years. That part. So. You talking about a fight party that this motherfucker came to one time twenty years ago, as and you trying to make it seem like you was you like like, like you like this nigga was on the block and you just came through and say, "Come on, baby, get some of mama's home cooking." Right, you, you you acting like this nigga is in your crib four times a week, four times total. 
<laughs> Whatever. Like, you know, come on for your birthday, bitch. Like, what the fuck are you talking about here? But she she do shit like that. She try to act like her relationship with people was so much greater than what it is. And to 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 justify or to, to make it seem like the the uh, agree the, the the egregious is so much more significant because of the betrayal level on it because you were my friend and you knew me we were so close bitch i came to your house one time 20 years ago to watch tyson fight a motherfucker and he ended up biting his ear off and then we had a couple jokes about it and i left i think you made pizza puffs bitch like Right. Uh, she said she did a show with him the same night as the fight, but there were only 10 people in the audience, so she decided to invite them to her home to watch the fight. Okay, cool. That's what's up. Also, this being 20 years ago, and the two, the, the best that you two motherfuckers could do, king and queen of comedy, is 10 people in the audience? That's what you want to tell everybody? Because that's what we heard. Yeah. But, hey, look, you you fight for that. You fight for that headliner title that you got. You the draw to shit that ain't really drawing. I don't know what you bragging about, but hey, look, we'll we'll we'll, we'll pretend like that was just old shit. Cause I don't know what this show in Detroit sold, but I I heard it may not have been you know the most full of shows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you can play it. You can play it again. I didn't have nothing to say about that. That part right there. I just wanted to just, yeah, that just bugged me. Down like that, goddammit! You got a bitch wrong. You talk about young thugs and cause of their names. Nigga, your name is DL. What the fuck does it stand for? Yeah. How far are you bending over, nigga, on the DL? You fuck with the wrong one. That's my Ooh. family, nigga. I'm home, nigga. She got him. DL. Oh, that's not for Dan Low. I'm motherfucking home, yo. I go all the way back with Coco in the motherfucking lounge in the back of the bar when they was cooking motherfucking fried fish, bitch. That's me, nigga. That's me, Detroit. I'm the bitch who did fucking nigga in the car, but bitch, that happened so long ago. So you were old, See, ho. black women, let me tell you something. That's what she said, right? She, black men she really just came out there and said, I'm the bitch that fucked the nigga in the car, but that was so long ago. Black king. That's my husband. And them niggas can't understand it. They can't fathom it. It makes them motherfuckers sick. Okay, pause because it real quick. Time, pause it real quick. Pause it real black- quick. Why does she have this delusion that niggas is out here thinking that her man is this super nigga some kind of way? Like, who has he struck fear in the heart of ever? I've never, heard, I've never heard anybody do anything more than just laugh at him. You're yeah, a punch, punchline, fam. I've never seen him do anything other than stand behind her. Because that's all he do. What else he going to do? He's her, ma- he's her manager. Nobody else's manager. And ever since he's been her manager. I agree what, has been, what has been the direction of her? Yeah. To shit. That's where it's the, that's where it's been headed. Destination, destination. We don't give a fuck, Ville. Like, yeah, that's what that's what, what the fuck she had. I don't know why I said destination. We don't give a fuck, Ville. It sounded like the most gangster corny shit I could think of at the time. <laughs> I wasn't aiming for corny. It just landed on it. But yeah, the fuck. Man. Nobody shook at this dude. Nobody sitting here like, oh my god, he's the man of all men. It, yeah, my. Him and my granddaddy and my daddy. Woo, role models. Like, no, motherfucker. Nobody's looking at him like that. We think he weird. I've heard him talk once, and I think he's a fucking leech weirdo, motherfucker. I think he pimping you. And he's not a smart pimp because, look, you're not a dependable hoe. <laughs> and again, like, and she do this shit all the time. She is weaponizing... She's making it seem like an attack against her is the attack against everybody. Bitch, talk about we as black women have to stop. No, bitch, you just got like like you did, you aren't being fucking attacked. You are. She's playing. She's playing victim to some shit. 
because she, she ain't getting her way. Like you're not being attacked, you're not being held down, you're not being downtrodden, you're not getting your salary taken away because of this man, you're not getting money, food taken off your plate because of this man. No, motherfuckers is just saying you wasn't the headliner, and now all of a sudden this is an anti because this is an attack against all black women. No, bitch. All black women. That's the shit that you got. I don't know if she said it yet in the video or not, but I think she might have been. Fuck it. We gonna. I'm gonna say it if she don't say it. If she said it already, she said it and she didn't. I'm gonna hear it twice. So the bitch was saying, "This is what we got to put up with in this in the in the industry." You opened the kings of comedy. I closed the queens of comedy. Get my get it right, nigga. Right? Fuck you. Fuck you talking about? You we comparing we comparing straight to DVD releases. <laughs> Not even straight to DVD. That shit came on Showtime. I had to look it up. I had to look it up. I had to look it the fuck up. I had to look it the fuck up. Kings of Comedy was an actual movie. I know it was a movie because we got the tape. I know it was a movie because we watched that motherfucker in school front to back. How many fucking times? I, I know it was a movie because I went to the show to see it. That part. Now, you know what we don't know was a movie? That we somehow seen but I've never seen again. Queens of Comedy. Mm -hmm. I don't remember shit from it other than um uh I forget her name. Um the uh older lady, the one that uh do the do the kitchen shit. Kitchen shit, uh Martha Stewart. No, 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 no. She was on Queens of Comedy, the host. She hosted. Uh, uh was that some more? No, nah, not some more. Some more was in it too, and some more did that shit. Uh, Lunel? Not Lunel. Lunel. Not I didn't Lunel. even know who the fuck was on Queens of Comedy. I know some more it was, was on it because it was some more Adele Givens. Um, it was uh, Yvette Wilson. Nah, that was uh Yvette Wilson is um she was on it at a point. That's old girl from Oisha, right? Mm -hmm. She did do it at a point. I think she was the original host, and then they switched her with. I, I, I want to call her Vera for some reason. But she, the old, you know, you you know her. She's an older woman, older comic, a little raunchy, but not like Tia or not like uh, Lunell or no shit like that. But she'll always take her, who? Laura Hayes. Thank you. Laura Hayes. Yeah. Yeah, I woke she up this time. <laughs> you heard him. I got to call him. Laura Hayes. I know who she is. Yeah, but she was the host of it. But that shit went straight to Showtime. It didn't stop off at a DVD. <laughs> it was never in a theater near you. Showtime. But this is what you're comparing to Kings of... It's not a comparison. They're not the same. And while we respect the Queens of Comedy as, it, as what it is, when you do shit it weirdo shit like juxtaposed it to kings of comedy. We're forced to make that that we we forced to make a decision here. You force us to say the shit that we don't want to say. It's not in the same ballpark. It's not the same sport. Both yeah, both y'all telling all y'all telling jokes. They jokes is on a whole nother level. Again, I can't tell you how many times I watch kings of comedy, and I don't think I'm alone in that. I don't know nobody that's seen queens of comedy twice. I don't even know if I've seen it once. You put yourself out there to be looked at as dumb when you say dumb shit like that. So now I gotta call you dumb and I gotta look I gotta be looked at as a bully or an aggressor because you're telling me this dumb shit. Like I heard I heard I heard a rumor back there. I heard a rumor that he was backstage and he called her a bitch. He said, I ain't close I ain't open it for no bitch. I could I could imagine DL saying that. I could imagine DL saying all kinds of flagrant, fraudulent, bitch, nigga shit. I can. I'm fully in that. I'm fully in that frame of mind that I can. I can fathom that. I could also fathom you pitching the fit before before he got there and while he there and the motherfucker hear you woofing, talking all this extra ass shit about how you closed the queens of comedy and all I did was open for some other like bit. You know what? Yeah, that's I, ain't that, that, I tell you what I, I tell you what I ain't been open for. I ain't been open for no bitch. I, that, I, I can that, see that. That definitely sounds like a line that she had rehearsed. 
she practiced that line. Oh yeah, she practiced that line. That was that was part of her material. She she wrote yeah. that shit down. She wrote that shit down. She she been she been she been brainstorming off of this 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 queens of comedy pivot, but since it happened, since it happened, like I did queens of comedy though. Look at that shit over there. Woo woo! Look at that. Like we don't care. Nobody cares what you did twenty years ago. Nobody cares that you got an Oscar for a movie that most of us didn't see. <coughs> I'm gonna keep it a beat. I never saw Precious. I, I don't it. plan on seeing Precious. You saw it? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, seen it twice? Hey, nah. Yeah. Nah, it was definitely one of those. One time is enough. Hey, look, you are not finna get me with a movie telling me that it's some chick that I never heard of before, and then Monique, and then Paula Patton, but then not cute, and then Mariah Carey. Again, but then not cute also. Like, you're not finna uglify all these people and then tell me to go watch a movie with all of them in it. Like, no, nah, I'm cool. And I heard what it's about. No, nah, I'm not I'm not wanna go, go see that shit. What the fuck I wanna go see that shit? No. So that's your work for us, for me. That's your work. Non memorable, non impactful shit. Yeah. DL Hughley gave us the Hughleys, fam. I, I, I'll i still watch the Hughleys. Yeah, Hughley was funny as shit. It was funny as shit. I'll still, still watch Kings of Comedy. I, yeah, I'm about to say, I'll still watch Kings of Comedy. I'll still like, watch I'll, the episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air that he was on and he guest starred in. I, I still watch his stand-up. Like, the one that he had on HBO? Because over the course of his career, he's been funny. Wasn't he? Didn't he? Wasn't he hosting? Uh, fucking uh, beat coming view. Am I misremembering yeah. that? Am I? Am I? Am I Mandela affecting this shit? He was the no, host of Comic View, right? Yeah, he hosted Comic View for a while. For a while, it was funny. That's the shit most of us started watching for black comedy. You know and what I'm saying? Also, and also, currently, he got a pretty popular fucking radio show. That part. So, on what? What 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 le- what lane what 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 judging criteria do you think that you are on the same level as this man? To have the audacity to be like, I'm finna, I'm I'm closing, not you. All the promotional material for the show that I had seen after the fact, all point to, to DL being. The, the the headliner of the show and you being like a co-star. It's all D.L. Hughley and Monique and then the rest of you motherfuckers. Like, the font size of the names means something. Yeah. It means something. And you Yours was smaller. Your you picture to, was smaller. You had to have seen the fly this. You know you seen the fly you know you seen you know you seen the build the marquee on the building when you came in. Who name was on the top? Now, now I got an inkling of an idea that that's when the shit hit the fucking fan. That's when motherfuckers really got upset about things. You when you come out venue. when you when you show up to the venue and you and you look at that big ass marquee and because everybody looks for their name. Yeah. Or or the or the production that you're in, you you want to go see it on there. It's it, it still makes you feel good. See your shit that big. Nobody sees their name and or some shit they doing in seventy five font or whatever the fuck uh uh uh, uh a marquee letter is in 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 size. But hey, was your name big on the outside of the building? Is then no, you don't go last. A name wasn't he, big on the outside or the inside. Or the in, he goes last. And guess what? This is the kicker. It is not a slight to you. You are not the be all end all of shit. You are not the greatest thing we've seen. You're not the best thing since sliced bread. You are not a new invention. You know we've been watching fat women comics for fucking ever? You think you the first bitch to get up there and say I ate a burger? Ha! Oh, look at me, but I don't care, baby. Stress marching dog, they gonna love it. I'll roll it up. You think you the first bitch to say some shit like that? 
It's not even that yo your stick is not even unique. You were just louder than a lot of motherfuckers and came on at a good time. You need to be thanking Brandy and Countess Vaughn for us even knowing who the fuck you are. Yeah. Cause without them, without them. You wouldn't have been headlining the Queens of God movie. <laughs> you wouldn't have been headlining shit. Shit. They'd have got Melanie Camacho for that and, 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 and ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yvette Wilson would have got that call. One, the Sykes would have been somewhere like, hey, yo, look. All right, God damn it, I'm woke. Enough of this disparaging goddamn Monique. Yes. You remember the yep. I've been I, waiting on you. you. You've been yelling at you How low does a motherfucker from the set get to just knock off motherfuckers on the set? One before we kick them one, off the set. One and, and she did one, go for a loco. She did. We just knew say, her. Adios, Bobby Brown, Bobby Johnson. <laughs> one, we knew her motherfucking ass before the Parkers. No, we did. Everybody knew her. Now I'm no, say we. How you knew I her. Tell me how I knew her and play that. Play that one ass. Thing where she was roasting motherfuckers, playing the dozens with some motherfuckers that I also yeah. didn't know at the time when she was doing it. You uh, did you, know that you, at the you, time, you, nigga. You knew Ricky. Uh, Yo, Smiley. Pro- you knew uh, the nigga with the uh, Benny. We knew Ricky Smiley and we knew uh, Tracy Morgan. Mm, Tracy Morgan. And you knew. But how do we know? But how do we know at the at the at that time though? How do we know Tracy Morgan? That's hustle, man. He was hustle. Man. This is how early in their careers that shit was. We didn't know her. That shit was un. That shit was. That shit was. Uh, uh, that looked like this unreleased is what footage. Made us know her, the titty milk joke, and she was solidified after that. All right, I'm gonna let you have that. I don't remember her before the Parkers, fam. I really don't. You definitely remember that titty milk joke. You definitely remember because it wasn't that fucking funny when it happened, and then it just for some reason got. Uh, Funnier retroactively in the collective diaspora. The shit wasn't that funny when she blew the titty milk. Your mama so old, she uh, yeah, the baby powder, powder. It, it blew the powder out. Yeah, mm-hmm. so she was she was solidified after that, but she wasn't though, fam. Nobody saw that shit when it happened. Did you see that shit when it happened? Yeah. Yes, not you. Yeah. I know you said you saw. It. You saw yeah. it. Uptown Comedy Club. Yes, everybody yeah, I saw that. It when it happened. Nigga. It come on right. I, it used to come on right after Apollo. Yeah. yeah, nah, I didn't watch it. I never, I've never seen. I had never seen that show before this clip. Michael Blackson, hell yeah, yeah. a whole bunch of motherfuckers we know now. We, we knew them then. Know. Oh, okay, uh, I'll, we, I'll, take, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take. I'll take. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I didn't know who these motherfuckers. I know. I know Joe Clark. I knew Joe Clark. That's why she was up there because we knew all of their ass, including her. Joe Clark, I know the motherfucker hosting. Is that Larry Elders? Larry Elders, right? That's talent. That's motherfucker. That's not Larry Elders holding the mic, hosting. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, look, why do they take no value, man? I do that. This whole episode about to get (laughs) your mom so old. She knew the honey honeycomb bear when he was a Chicago cop. (laughs) Nigga, please. Your mama so old, the bitch squirt powdered milk out of titties. Ew. 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 I hate to defend and disparage her at the exact same time, but that shit wasn't that fucking funny. It was it was it was a it was prop comedy one. Yeah. Two, 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 I mean. Who are the prop comics? Steve Martin, Carrot Top, Top. and then I'm done. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm done. I'm done. You bring uh, the trunk uh, on. So, 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 so you're not, you're not putting no respect on Gallagher name? Hey, look, Gallagher. first of all, he had one prop. Craig Robinson? Craig Robinson's a prop. I didn't know he never seen him with no props. Daryl from the mean? office. What? Daryl from the office. That's how he came out, playing the piano. Well, that ain't that ain't a I'm no prop comic. I'm talking about prop comic that all they jokes is around. You know, you okay? That, 
you know the type of comic Carrick Top is, right? He's a yes. prop comic. He brings out a trunk and he makes pun e types of jokes about things. He'll make a and he'll make things. He'll make a phone book with a bow and arrow through it and call it some stupid shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Shit like That's that. what people with pianos do. They they just don't do it with. No, they just play the piano. piano. They, they just play the piano, fam. I don't. And make I mean, I don't. They they uh, fucking sit there, play the piano, and make puns. They're they're um, prop comics. He does the exact nah. same shit Harry Top does, just with a piano and no other props. Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but I don't want to get sidetracked either. But yeah, I, uh, okay. We'll just we'll, just, we'll, we'll table that one. But yes, not only that. Back to this Monique shit. The bitch brought out one prop. The nigga and then she used not, it. She had no more jokes after that. The nigga, the nigga DL still hasn't addressed the fact that his shit was a memo and her shit was a contract. Her shit was her contract, and we didn't see no signatures. All we saw was an initial on one page. So what the fuck is that? What are we talking about here? Hey, he didn't address the fact that his shit was a memo. What he got to address? He got everything that was in his memo, and she didn't get nothing that was in her contract. Hey, so hey, look. So was Bridges my net? Why is she mad at him? I don't know. Maybe she heard him call her a bitch. Yeah. Oh, I, I definitely think. I definitely think. But why he call you a bitch? Let's like not, let's not let's not throw rocks and then hide our hands, Monique. That's the way we shouldn't do. We shouldn't tell half truth. We shouldn't say that. We shouldn't say how some shit, you know, start, got in the middle. Tell us how this shit started. Start at the beginning. Don't start at the middle of this motherfucker when he when he was japping on you for talking shit. Tell us the shit you was talking that made him start japping. Or it just came out the blue. You just was like flabbergasted. Like, wait a minute. No, I'm supposed to go on last. No, no, you're not. Like, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see the setup. She did sound check. What time did you go on sound? Which time did you go to sound check? I'm interested to know I'm interested to know that. While you just waving the fucking contract in everybody's face that nobody gives a shit about. If the people that signed it didn't care about it, why do I give a shit? It doesn't matter what the contract said. You got there. You know D.O. Hughley's on the show. Why do you think you're closing that show? Hey, why my chips don't know what's in their in their own bag? Say ingredients: potatoes, vegetable oil. Contains one or more of the following. Depends on what day it is and what they had available. <laughs> it's called a rolling recipe. And then why I come back and see you with the biggest bag of the most genericest barbecue chips ever? <laughs> I mean, do generic chips come in small bags? No. <laughs> you definitely ain't never, never had a bag of, of 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 all these Clancy's, nigga. Because never. it will change your opinion of the word generic. What is generic? Uh, some shit with no commercial. <laughs> Maybe Pepsi is generic. Hey, I met a bitch named Pepsi this weekend just because she was black as hell, and I didn't know if I if, if I didn't know if I wanted to laugh or felt sorry for the bitch. Hey, look, was she named Pepsi because she was black as hell, or was she black as his black as hell and named Pepsi? I just want to know if her real name was Pepsi. No, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Well, yeah, and that's she actually... leaned into it because all she wears is blue. <laughs> I, I mean, funny. she black, blue black. Why come up? Do your I, shit, I ain't even mad at that. We know you're not mad at nobody wearing blue. We understand that. We we got the memo a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of memos, uh, a deal memo is a perfectly valid uh, explanation of what the fuck that you got. You don't. I don't need to see your contract. You you not you not saying that you didn't get these things. You just saying what the things are. That's all of the. It's just a summary of what the fuck is in the contract. Yeah, and I, I and the motherfucker pointed out some other shit too. Like none of the other shit that was supposedly in her contract actually happened, or was supposed to happen. According to her contract, she was supposed to be in a headliner. 
according to that fake ass contract, she was supposed to n- go on no less than an hour of performance time after after the show start. Yep, and she didn't even, even get there an hour. <laughs> and even even with her, if she was supposed to be the headliner, that was still gonna be at least an hour and a half of performance before she came on stage. Hey, it was a bullshit contract that she put together lazily and ignorantly, and I'll say that comfortably, ignorantly, because if you put shit in the contract that you don't get or that ain't nobody going to give you, was it done with a a, a wealth of knowledge? I think not. Um, They wouldn't be able to get over on you if you had a wealth of experience or ability to do the job. So, yeah, nah. Um, also, fam, you gave them the contract. They didn't give you the contract. I guarantee you they didn't read that shit. Other than how much you're supposed to get paid, is she gonna be here? That's it. That's all. I don't give a fuck about what the el- what the fuck else is in this motherfucker. What's the cancellation policy on this shit? What what are we allowed to use her likeness on the marketing materials? What she want? And that's it. The show on the ninth, bitch. Had your ass in Detroit on the ninth, or whenever the fuck they have it. Twenty, the twenty ninth or the thirtieth or whatever the fuck it was. But yeah, that's what's gonna be in the contract. That's what we'll agree to. And okay, cool. It says you the headliner. All right, cool. People know your name. You're a headliner. Great. I'm telling you, nobody, nobody, nobody gave a fuck about that contract. That's why. That's why she was out there like she was. Because she tried to wave that motherfucker in somebody's face. And they told her, bitch, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> this bullshit out of here. That's what makes you mad. When you try to, th- when you try to throw your weight around and you, you try to speak, when you want to, when you, when you ask to speak to the manager and then the manager get there and the manager tell you to kiss their ass. Right. <laughs> oh, you, you beside yourself at that point. You you thought she was gonna get something. I'm calling the manager. Hey, and which is worse? Manager back an employee or or I am the manager. Ooh, I think I, mm. I think the manager back an employee is worse. I Ooh. think, I think it is. I think it is. I think it is too. We, I think we had a consensus on that one. Because I always feel like I am the manager is a lie. Uh, yeah. It and could be a lie. I, I I've never once felt like that was the manager <laughs> that said that. Ever. Never. Like, I'll give you that. Me complaining. You, I have never the, felt like, and that has happened to me on multiple occasions. Yeah, so get your punk ass out of here. You ain't no fucking manager. Man, you no damn manager. Yeah, I'm the manager. Favorite. I'm the only Here's manager on favorite. duty. Here's my favorite, because this is mine and my one and only job. The uh, walk off like I'm going to go get the manager and just go <laughs> back to work. <laughs> and leave them over standing in the lobby <laughs> till they see me again or somebody that may look like a manager. Oh wow! <laughs> hey, yeah, that, that, that other guy that I was yelling at—he was supposed to go get a manager for me, so I complained about him and write him up. Uh, guess somebody write him up. Where is he at? You mean, you mean that fat <laughs> nigga that clocked out three three minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went home. 